Test simple, as we saw in the earlier script, is, well, simple. We go back to this uh, original script that has a really simple one, giving the number of tests and uh, three calls to OK. If you run this uh, test script, we'll get this output, and we get uh, the name of the output, but we don't get any real details about the output. So we just get that, uh, what's the name? Uh, what's the, the name that uh, someone given. We don't get the expected result, we don't get the actual result, we have lack of information. So there is this other module called test more that is just a drop-in replacement of test simple that can help with us with this. So let's first see that this is a drop-in replacement and just replace test simple with test more, run the test again, and as you can see right now uh, the data, the report is, is exactly the same. So we haven't lost anything. It provides the OK function, it provides the counting. In addition to the OK function, it also provides an IS function. Now the IS function is interesting because it gets three parameters, three values. One of the actual value, the sum, uh, the return of the sum. The other, the second parameter is the expected value, which is two, four, or six in our case. And the third is just the name of the of the optional name of the test. So this case, if this case, if now we run the test, let's compare the result of the previous one with this one. You can see that in this case, you will see we got four and expected six. So someone who is not familiar with the test, but, but even people who are familiar with the test, will be much, uh, it will be much easier for them to understand what might be the problem because they know what they were expecting at that specific the test case. Now, now, I know with computations it's easy, but think about other more uh, complex tasks when you don't uh, know. There's also other functions, uh, and we're going to see them uh, later on. Now let's just see uh, uh, another one which is called isn't, which is just the opposite of is. Isn't doesn't have a lot of uses, but in one specific case it can be useful, when we want to make sure that a variable, a scalar variable, isn't undef. So we can write this code isn't $x, whatever the variable, under, and compare it to undef. I didn't even left out the, the name of the test case. As we run the test, you can see that the second one is successful because there we already had a value. And the first one, it says that got undef and expected something else, anything else. So that's in a nutshell the, uh, how we can move over to test more. And as you can see, we can already have some added value with it.